Why, hello there, friends. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a chronically ill, basically train wreck, but I'm also a mom to uh, 13 year old twins, right? And an incredible husband and a crazy dog. So today is going to be kind of a little bit of a day in the life. We did run to our discount grocery store, but I didn't film because I didn't think about it. But I'll try to remember to show you what we got because we just got a couple things. Um, let me show you so far what I've gotten started because this week has been crazy and the house has kind of been neglected in some of the areas just because we've been bringing so many things in. We did a big household grocery stock up and like household things. So everything's just been kind of crazy. So let me show you around and show you what we got going. Well, we can't lie. So. All right. I got the Jumbo Nesco out in two massive, uh, what are they, pork shoulders. So when you take it, when you, I got them at Costco, when you take it to the register, it took $8 off. So I found the cheapest package of 13 pounds and it was $25 minus $8, whatever that is. Um, I just got started. I did rubbed it all down with some yellow mustard and then I made a dry rub for it. And then I have this little chunk of butter sitting on the counter. So I just threw that in there. I'll probably add more, but um, and then I have some extra seasoning rub to kind of, when I flip them over or move them around. Uh, so that's going to be cooking all day, seven to eight hours, 13 pounds of pork shoulder. And then all in the same little triangle room, the kitchen, or the kitchen and the dining room and in between, I am working on all of this laundry, which most of it's done. We're getting there. And then I also did a bunch of dishes because the other day, I did a ton of meal prepping and cooking. We had a friend, my husband had a friend over and we had just a huge variety of delicious things. But like I said, that caused a huge mess. So I also made two weeks worth of dog food. I'll show you some of that too. Um, but yeah, so I got a bunch of these dishes done. I got, a, I got these parts clean so this can get put away when they're dry and my rice cooker. Like I got some of my things that I made homemade red crumbs. So I got to really pick up and put away some of the specialty things that don't get used all the time. Okay. And then over here in the fridge, or did I just say that over here in the sink, I have, this is a three, four, five, six, eight pounds of ground beef thawing. And I meant to do this yesterday, but I, I forgot. So we're going to quick try to get it thawed out as fast as we can. Um, some of it will be meatballs with the homemade breadcrumbs because they turned out incredible. And then some, or the rest of it, is going to be just cooked ground beef. So we can use it in simple meals. I put it in a gallon freezer bag or a quart freezer bag and then flatten it out and it stores much easier than these big tubes. And this way it's cooked and ready. So I got some of these dishes done. Like I tried to do a bunch of the big ones I had from baking and treat making and all the things and dog food. So we got a lot of work to do, but I think we're gonna try to pull it off today and we'll show you things along the way all right now we went to Costco the other day and got well we got a big bag of onions and we also got a package of bell peppers from there it was just red yellow and orange so we chopped up all the peppers I think there were six total and a couple onions and then froze them in quart sized bags and now I'm gonna actually put these in the microwave for just a few like a minute to soften them up and then like the kids like the flavors, but they don't like the textures. So what we're going to do is you just kind of thaw it out just so they're not frozen. Food process it for just a few seconds. You know, it makes it a lot smaller or even kind of turn it into like a sludge. And then you mix it in and nobody knows. And they like the flavor. And that is going to go into my pan over here. I have four pounds of ground beef. I just turned it on and now I'm going to get the onions going. But, um... This we're gonna use for a tater tot casserole tonight. And then whatever meat is left, I'll portion into meal sizes and freeze them once it's cooked. All right, here it is. I'm gonna add like garlic to it when the meat is almost done too, but it's just a simple seasoning um, to the meat. And then we can always add new stuff for whatever the ground beef meal is going to turn into. All right, while the meat is cooking, I'm getting these ingredients ready. I've been making my own cream of soup powder mix and it is incredible. So I'm gonna do a double batch and we're gonna do the third cup, well, two, two one third cups, you know, 
of the powder and then we're gonna go get the one and a half cups two and a half cups of water oh you know math my brain is gone but we're getting things going and so as soon as the meat is almost cooked we'll get this cooking and get that ready all right so this is like leveled up uh tater tot casserole okay so this brand sells a lot of different appetizer type things at our discount store so a three pound bag for $3.99 they're cheesy hash brown casserole tots they're creamy they're cheesy they're potatoey and absolutely delicious so we bought one bag the other day and ended up making i ended up pouring it into here this is all that's left from the three pounds so we got two of these today so i'm going to use however many it takes to cover my pan first i'm going to use up the last ones left and so um yeah, these cheesy hash browns, the Minsky. I don't know. If you can order any of their appetizers online, do it. You won't regret it. They're so good. We always air fry them. We don't usually deep fry or anything. But I'm going to try baking these today. Probably about 425, you know, maybe kind of follow that idea for it. But all right, we're going to get working. All right, I didn't measure or anything, but enough um ground beef for this 9 by 13 pan look how creamy and delicious the home of cream of it's i didn't do chicken it's just cream of like a, like herbs uh and then you can like add chicken base or broth or whatever but i just did plain i'm just gonna pour on what we need yeah and then it's gonna get a cheese layer and then a tater tot layer and then we're gonna cooking spray up the top of those um, tater tots so they get nice and crispy and then we're going to bake it at 425 for I think it's like 20 to 25 minutes the thing said so I'm going to shake this around make sure all the meat's covered and then I'm going to take we get I've been meal planning and meal prepping and so I got this big one from Sam's Club yeah Sam's Club uh, I'm going to do a layer of this on there and then the tater tots all right figure you a little clip in the progress um I'm going to make up four pounds of beef. We're going to turn it into meatballs. So in my bowl, I have homemade sourdough breadcrumbs, Worcestershire sauce, garlic. This is the pureed bell pepper and onion. And I also did two packets of uh, the onion soup mix, four eggs. I'll probably do a little bit of milk, but this yeah, it was quite juicy, so... Might not need too much milk. And then we're gonna add the four pounds of beef and get them all rolled into meatballs and then in the oven to bake. And hopefully by the time we're done making all the meatballs, then the casserole will be out of the oven too. So we're gonna get it all mixed in. You gotta get elbows deep and going with your hands or they're your best tools. We know that. Fresh out of the oven. Oh, absolutely smells delicious um let me show you what else so i just took this out it's gonna sit here for just a little bit and then um i was trying to mix up the meatball recipe but there is some like the center of the three pound thing of beef is still kind of frozen so i'm gonna have to just take a break eat dinner and then continue mixing this up after dinner sometime all right and last night actually i didn't even film it because i forgot Hang on. Alexa, stop. Um, I stop All right, I forgot to film this because I made this last night. Um, and I was going to film, but I got distracted. Anyway, it's homemade Twix bars. So you follow three of the little recipes to do the cookie, the caramel, and then the chocolate layer. And then you, it takes forever, but I put it in the fridge last night and it wasn't going to be ready until like one in the morning. So we're not having that until now. The next day and jake ended up saving me so i could rest a little and he scooped up all the meatballs i had all the mixture all ready he just had to scoop it and bake it for me so as soon as these cool we're gonna like flash freeze them and then we'll have i think we'll probably get about three meals worth of meatballs for the freezer once these are all said and done all right it's the next day um I got more things going. The pork roast is done. It didn't turn out very good, so it's going to be dog food. But 
in my bread maker, I have, what is this, a cinnamon craisin bread. It was going to be cinnamon raisin, but I had craisins instead. So soon I will grab that out. I stopped it 10 minutes early because this bread machine, like, I swear, it's like overcooks things. So I'm just going to let that cool down. I'm going to get it out in just a minute and I'll show you what else I'm working on. All right, I have two loaves. That is orange. It is tomato basil bread. I have some pre-cooked ground beef it's still kind of frozen i got it out last night but i need it like <laughs> not frozen so i can layer it up and then i am making homemade cream of like chicken soup but instead of there's no chicken in it it's just um different herbs and seasonings and stuff so that is going here and we're going to make a tater tot casserole again because it was such a big hit that everybody requested it immediately and like the first pan i made went like the day I made it. It was crazy fast. So that's what I'm working on now. All right, the tomato basil bread. I don't remember if I said this or not or showed it, but you have to roll this out and then uh, roll it up. Oh God, my husband's behind me messing with me. Um, and I decided to roll up some cheese into it. So uh, that's tomato basil bread with cheese swirled in it. Um, that looks absolutely delicious. And here is the tater tot casserole. Smells amazing. We're gonna eat some dinner now. All right, I cut into the bread. Now most of the craisins sadly went to the bottom, but there are some throughout. Um, it smells really good. This is how I'm gonna store it. I cut it in half and then sliced it like this. Um, I have some in the air fryer toasting just so I could do a couple pieces. We're going to toast it. We're going to put some butter and some peanut butter on it and give it a try. And then I'm going to store it like this in the freezer all sliced up so it'll stay fresh. And you can just take out however many pieces you want and then toast them up and you'll have nice delicious homemade bread. So that's what I'm doing with the cinnamon craisin bread. And then the other tomato basil bread is in the bags. We're going to make grilled cheeses grilled cheese sandwiches out of that and maybe freeze if there's any left too and then you could also just toast that up and have warm fresh bread crusty and delicious too <laughs> 